Pisces, hi, my name is Anya Briggs. I'm a psychic medium. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome cross watchers as well. Um, this is your weekly energy reading for Pisces for the week of October 10th to the 16th. I am recording this just as a record on the 9th of October. Um, and what else, what else, what else? The Oh, before I get started, there is a special running right now. If you've been thinking about hiring me for some time, now would be a good time to hire me because uh, I am offering an introductory offer of 10% off for new clients, 30% off for returning clients as a thank you for VIPs who keep coming back. Thank you very much. But I'd love to do a reading with you. So just um, contact me, will you? Because I feel like some of you want to do a reading with me real bad. I love Pisces. You are connected to intuition. You are an amalgam of all the signs. Um, you are the culmination of karma that has been revealed and healed if you choose it. And um, we are in a wonderful time now that is pregnant with possibility, if not literally, then metaphorically. And um, Pisces, you're freaking out a little bit. You're getting a little paranoid and I'll tell you why. It's not what you're thinking that is real. It is the times that is an illusion, as well as we are under the influence of Scorpio, which is an intense sign. It's a water sign as well, so you're gonna be feeling the intensification of that, but also the intensification of Scorpio's um, obsessive qualities that could be good or bad. I'm not, you know, drilling into one particular sign here. We all have shadow aspects, we all have great aspects. And the Scorpio influence is in Venus and Mercury. So you're gonna be feeling it in your dreams, you're gonna be feeling it in intuition and communication breakdowns that might happen as a result of Pisces feeling, quite frankly, a little delusional. I'm not saying you're delusional, but that it's gonna be hard to get a grasp on this also because your ruling planet, Neptune, is also retrograde until, I think, January 20th? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong about the dates. But you're gonna have to deal with a lot of intensification of stuff, of pre-existing energy that's in retrograde that is causing communication breakdowns in terms of your imagination. You may be feeling isolated. You may have literally isolated yourself. I don't know. But there's this feeling of like, I have to hole up. It's the end of the world. I have to get canned goods and ammunition and, um, ooh, God. I don't know what his sun sign was, but I'm being shown um, the um, MGM Grand Harvest Festival killer that may have a connection to the sun sign. I don't know if he was Scorpio or his Neptune was all messed up at the time or something. That'd be interesting if you know the chart of the Las Vegas shooter, um, because that might have this, he might have, he might have been under some kind of psychosis. And I'm not trying to imply that Pisces, you are like this man, okay? But at its absolute worst, a Pisces can kind of hole up and start stocking supplies and become very paranoid. It is quite serious out there. There are quite weird things happening and it may feel very topsy-turvy in Alice in Wonderland. However, there's two separate things going on here. Will and nerve. The will to do something is wishy-washy right now with Pisces because they can't see clearly because things are either too intense that they're causing sort of delusional or illusional things happening with them, their ability to assess things. And what was the other thing? Will, the will is kind of messed up right now because of the retrogrades and or intensifications. And then um, the other thing I said, which has to also do with the intensification of that, that is currently being denied. You're being denied that right now, Pisces, whatever that is. So the knowledge is not there yet and you're kind of feeling like you're stuck a little bit, and quite frankly, you are. I feel like some of you are literally like on an island nation or um, stuck on an island where there's like not easy access to things and you just have to wait and put your hope in other people's ability to arrive 
and show up for you and it's really kind of a waiting game that's what it feels like it feels like a literal waiting game and you're waiting for supplies to be airdropped or something i don't know but um pisces you need to get a grip okay it's not that bad just yet but it is about to get intensified with um the scorpio influences just happening on dropping on october 8th okay and they will be in your um well they'll be in everyone's sign uh because it's ruling the planet so um mercury and um, venus in your chart whatever your sign is will be affected by the sign of scorpio and from now until november 1st october 31st thereabouts and um you need to make a plan for that just small steady steps every day leads you to the path and the the end of the road you know not the end of the road the what's the metaphor i want to use i'm chock full of metaphors here i'm trying to make sense but there's scant knowledge about what it is that you want from this pisces okay you have to sit down and make a list of things people places things you want to surround yourself with i'm feeling like you're doing it the vast majority of you pisces are doing it and like your opposite sign yet again i feel a need to say this only for you but each sign has the sign that's opposite them and the opposite sign can provide past life information again very intense information that even if we weren't under the influence of scorpio right now would be that level of intensity um uh, your opposite sign can either love you or hate you they either reject you or have some unknown power over you that is completely mysterious that you can't shake and it's true i mean i've had this happen time and time again with pisces and they just wreck me like no other sign i don't know what that is probably has to do with karma or it probably has to do with the pisces virgo dynamic just as it does with the opposite sign of um scorpio with taurus they can there can be a lot of brick walls and fear and misconceptions and misunderstanding and i'm asking you pisces to wipe the slate clean of all of those expectations and ideas because i'm getting that they're wrong for the most part that there may be some that are right but take it with a grain of salt you know what i'm saying like don't fall all into like for instance as an example like the idea of a flat earther whether you're pro or con of that theory is highly controversial and you can fall down a hole investigating it that's not healthy it's important to gain perspective on things and um my guides are saying shall we they're asking very politely like can we get some perspective now it's almost like they've been waiting for you to tell us what they need like uh i'm feeling some of you are channeling or um doing what i do like mediumship is coming through in fits and starts and that you're having a hard time seeing it but you're feeling it and that's often a sign of something just about to permeate the the veil that's something that's just about to um my cat just showed up. He wants something. He wants attention. My cat shows up whenever I'm talking about mystical stuff. It's very interesting. Maybe he just wants a drink of water. He likes when I take him to the bathroom and I put him in the tub and I put the spout on. Like he does, I put out endless bowls of water. He doesn't want that. Change it all the time. Nope. He wants the spout. Anyway, um, yes, I'll get you water in a second, sweetheart. Um, <laughs> he's just looking at me like now <laughs> now and that's kind of like what pisces is doing i'm not kidding like like pisces has sort of been like the the prophet in the woods going okay i'm gonna fast and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna hold my hands up to the sky and say now do we do this now do we have the breakthroughs now the psychological breakthroughs now do we have the do we have the psychic ability now? And the answer is no, but you're feeling it and that's important. I'm being shown like a, a piece of material, a, a thin piece of material 
like the veil, which gets thinner and thinner as we get closer to October 31st, of course. And that's going to be a very interesting Halloween because first of all, it's going to be the first day of Mercury retrograde. And we are in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde for two weeks prior to that. So you should be experiencing hints of things to come. And I'm being shown a ghost costume, someone with a sheet over their head as a ghost for a Halloween costume. Um, as a sort of like the metaphor, it's like you can take the veil off and you can see what's holding you back. There's nothing holding you back but you, Pisces. So now what you have to do is, what I've said many times over is, you have to do this responsibly. Yes, you might be telepathic. Yes, you might be hearing things. Yes, you might have wild dreams. You are ruled by Neptune, which is the king of, you know, um, dreams and psychic ability and illusions as well. So some things might be actual psychic events. Other things may not. It depends on the individual. It depends on the instance. But right now it's just, it's, unseen it's unknown and part of that i'm feeling is pisces you do this to yourself you don't want to know you're scared of the unknown and i get it what's behind the curtain you know who's behind it what's it all about am i a puppet to them no you're not a puppet but you're not completely independent either no man is an island is the phrase i wish to use and they're using no man is an island Okay, so you can't hole up just yet. It's not the exact end of everything as we know it, but it is the beginning of the end of a cycle that the um, ancients called the Kali Yuga and the beginning of a new one that I don't know <laughs> the name of. Um, I have scant knowledge of, um, but that you're gonna learn a lot, Pisces. And if you are having a psychic awakening, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Why don't you hire me for a session already? Get it over with. Uh, I can help you through that. I can guide you through that. Or maybe you can guide me through it because you're so psychic now you don't even know it. But if you are having psychic experiences now, it's not uncommon, especially for this time of the year, as the veil is thin. And it will continue to get thinner. And it really is, like, if you want to hire me for a Halloween reading, I'm not kidding. It's not a hokey, jokey gimmick. Uh, the veil really is thinner on the 31st and the 1st, especially the 31st. I mean, the ancients knew these dates for a reason. They celebrated the solstice. They made sculptures and monuments specifically so that it would create, you know, shadows and, and light in the, in, within the context of it to guide them and to guide the seasons in the same way that um, there are spiritual connections that we have that are karmic to the earth and um, Pisces is that connection between water which is um, emotions and fantasy and fluidity and uh, the desire to learn more and that connection to the ancients is very strong right now so if you were to do a reading with me that would be very beneficial and help you understand your psychic side a little bit better and some dead relatives might come through and I might help you through that as well but um, I try not to emphasize that so much because I don't want people to be over reliant on dead relatives I want them to be reliant on themselves as much as possible and I'm really good at teaching people that too but if you do have psychic ability I understand how scary it can be especially if you didn't seek it out or were looking for it consciously but unconsciously darling I promise you there's some some merriment afoot and the spirits have chosen you most definitely if that's the case so I wish you wellness and don't worry be happy it'll all be over soon and the veil will be punctured and you will see clearly with your third eye and I'll speak with you next week or I'll speak with you even sooner. Hire me for a session. <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.